Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Haslinda Insha binti Ahmad. My metric number is 270570. Today I and my partner will explain about Thailand cuisine and dishes. First of all, I will explain about introduction of the cuisine and dishes. As we know, Thailand food is internationally famous. Thailand cuisine and dishes are more than just the street stalls and traditional market of the region. It is also a huge range of vegetarian dishes along with the classic meat dishes. Thailand is a destination for numerous tropical islands. Seafood is undoubtedly the most prevalent dish in Thailand. Thailand cooking places emphasis on lightly prepared dishes with strong aromatic components and spicy edge. The Thailand food features as showing attention to details, texture, color, taste and the use of medical benefits, ingredients as well as a good flavor as well as care given to the appearance, smell and meaning of the food. Thailand cuisine also have four categories which is bowl dishes, spicy salads, pounded food and curries. A Thai meal usually involves a selection of dishes which are shared among family and your friends. In a restaurant, it is usually to order a variety of dishes such as soups, salads, stiff fry dishes, grilled or fried fish or meat and curries. By the way, consumption of the Thai food in sufficient quantity and proportion the daily needs would supply educate nutritional substance that suitable for adults who require weight control. Next, I will explain about the history of the country where the cuisine origins. Historically, Thai cuisine has had many Squadron influence. Buddhist monks introduced an Indian touch in a more distant past. And the cooking in the south of Thailand was inspired by southern Muslim states. Much later, after contact with a Portuguese food, Thailand food was affected by European cuisine. Over many centuries, Thai cuisine and the culinary traditions and cuisine of Thailand's neighbors, particularly India, Malaysia, and Indonesia, have mutually influenced each other, each others. According to the Thai monk Venerable Buddha's Bhikkhu's writing, India be benevolence to Thailand. Thai cuisine was influenced by India cuisine. He wrote that Thai people learned from India how to use spice in their food in the different ways. Okay, Thai cuisine uh, became known in the West in the 60s when tourism become widespread throughout in the country. Tourists can appreciate uh, the famous street food, especially in Bangkok, uh, nicknamed as the world capital of street food. Um, next, the cuisine of the Thailand is made up of, uh, of four regions, uh, which is North Thailand, Central Thailand, Southern Thailand, and North uh, Thailand. There is Thailand royal cuisine in addition to these areas, the history of which dates back to ancient and multicultural kingdoms, but this cuisine typically represents the characteristic of Central Thai. Thai food began several centuries ago with people who emigrate from the southern Chinese provinces into modern day Thailand. After that, I will explain about topography of the Thailand. As we know, Thailand is naturally divided for into four topography, which is the north, the central plain or Chao Phraya river basin, the north or the Korat Plateau, and the south or southern isthmus. Firstly, the north is a mountainous region where natural forests rich and deep, narrow alluvial valleys are characterized. The northern area majority people are Thai, generally called Thai Nuria or Northern Thai. 
the Thai live in the lowlands of Wales, while number of indigenous tribes live on the uplands, mostly belonging to the Hmong Khmer and the Tibeto Burmans, the two linguistic families. Next, the central plain or Chao Phraya River Basin. The Chao Phraya River Basin in central Thailand has very versatile valleys. It is the region richest and most extensive rich producing area and has often been referred to as the rice bowl of Asia. This region is located in Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. Small communities of Mons and Cambodians of the Mon Khmer family, Annamites, Malays and Burmans, mostly Thaoyans, a tribe similar to the Arakanas of Burma exist in this region. After that, the North S or the Korat Plateau. It is the poor soil is not favor agriculture. The region consists mainly of the dry Korat Plateau and a few low hills. The short monsoon seasons bring heavy flooding in the river valleys. Unlike the more versatile areas of Thailand, the north has a long dry season and much of the land is covered by sparse grasses. Mountains ring the plateau on the west and the south and the Mekong delines de much of the eastern rim. Lastly, the south or southern it most. It is a narrow peninsula is distinctive in climate, terrain and resources. It is economy is based on rice cultivation for subsistence and rubber production for industry. Rolling and mountainous terrain and the absence of large rivers are conspicuous feathers of the south. North South mountain barriers tropical forests cause the early isolation and separate political development of this region. Okay, lastly, I will explain about the prominent food ingredients and flavorings that always been used in the Thailand. Almost uh, all Thai cuisine seeks a balance between the four flavors, which is sweet, sour, spicy, and salt. So the balance varies from dish to dishes. An important feather of Thai cuisine is the combination of the of the different flavors, textures, temperatures, and cooking methods in the same dish. The first ingredients and flavorings that been always used in Thailand cuisine is herbs and spice. Herb and spice are probably the most popular famous of Thai dishes. Almost every dish uh, present one or more herbs and spice. The leaf of the coffee lime are used in many soups like tom yam or kavis from central areas. Coffee lime leaf uh, are usually combined with galangal and lemongrass, giving the dish uh, a fresh and aromatic flavor. Thai basil is used to add fragrance to green curries and other common herbs are coriander, spat mint, uh, holy basil, ginger, turmeric, and many more. Lap, lap is an elaborate mix of spice that includes a uh, chumin, cloves, long pepper, star anise, and mm -hmm. cinnamon. The next ingredient and flavoring they always use in Thailand is paste and sauces. Paste uh, and sauces are extremely common in Thailand cuisine and they are a part of unique flavor. Uh, they are usually used a dip uh, for raw vegetables or meat. A uh, sauce used in every region is nafla made of fermented fish, usually anchovies. However, there are many variations of this basic uh, sauce. Another popular sauce is plara, an opaque sauce more concrete than nampla. Kaki a shrimp paste is indispensable for making Thai curry paste. Vegetables are usually eaten raw, steamed or stir fried. Egg 
plant is common and it uh, comes in many varieties like the P size or the A size ones. Cucumbers, bamboo shoots, bean sprouts, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, winch beans, beans and corn are all commonly used. Okay, that's all from me. I will pass uh, to my partner to explain more detail about Thailand cuisine. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Noe Dahi Binti Nordin and my metric number is 270026. Now I will continue my part which is 5.0 cooking method of the cuisine. Thailand cuisine is one of the most popular cuisine and dishes in the world. This is because the ingredients, flavor of the profile and cooking method are characteristic of Thailand's food and cuisine. Thailand cuisine are usually created by stir frying, deep frying, grilling, boiling, steaming and tossing. In general, Thailand cooking method are simple and easy. The first one is stir frying. Stir frying is a fast cooking method that has been used to cook Thai food using high heat. This type of cooking method or technique are usually requires a wok or big skillet that pair with a spatula. Deep frying usually use a large amount of oil and a deep fry and a deep pan. This is because there are many Thailand appetizer and Thailand fish recipes are cooked by deep frying the food. However, the temperature also plays an important role in deep frying method and it is usually involving very high heat and fast cooking. Other than that, grilling is one of the cooking methods that have been used in cooking Thailand food. Grilling is typically the choice for making marinated meats for vegetables on the grill and it also bring the smoky taste and smell. Apart from that, boiling is the most important cooking method used worldwide and this is included in Thailand cuisine. There are many types of recipes that require quick boiling, slow cooking, simmering or stewing. Steaming is used a steamer is used a steamer to cook raw ingredient. Basically, a regular steamer contains two or three levels with a lid. The steaming technique provides a moist and soft consistency for food. Lastly, tossing is commonly utilized for Thai salad recipe. Thai salad dressing is mixed with the fresh ingredients and blended together and this preparation method combines the salad dressing with vegetable, meats and noodles. Next, I will continue. 6.0 Different region of the country or cuisine There are four regions in Thailand and among them are Northern, Northeastern, Southern and Central of Thailand. The first one is Northern Thailand. Northern Thailand cuisine is predominantly hot and salty and more moderate in both than food from other regions, regions because it's a temperate region. It's not quite hot enough for coconuts to thrive, so dishes generally tend to be moist, tend to be moistened using water or broth and not coconut milk. Apart from that, heavy forestation means there is a lot of fuel for cooking, and because of that, grilling is popular as are long cooking and braising. The forest also provide a number of bitter herbs, lending the cuisine slightly astringent profile. And pork is really popular, both as a meat and cooking medium. There are northeastern. This region has far less fuel for cooking, and there substantially more cure and raw food than in northern Thailand. The region is the Thailand poorest and has struggled with farming and the effect of deforestation the cuisine has adapted to reflect this and that's mean that dishes tend to be extremely hot and pungent so that less of them are needed to flavor their accompanying rice southern thailand's proximity to the gulf of thailand means that seafood plays a huge role in the cuisine including prawns crabs oyster squid and mackerel whatever cannot be eaten immediately they dry it in the hot sun for example, 
the shrimp paste produced by this method in the cornerstone in the cornerstone of most southern religious. A southern food is Thailand's spiciest. The flavor profile is primarily hot, sour, and salty. Coconut oil and milk and milk are used heavily in curries as are fresh herb and fish. Central food is probably the most familiar to Westerners as most American Thai restaurants serve primarily Central Thai food. Flavors tend to be highly complex and layered with the dominating flavors being hot and salty. The primary meats are chicken, duck, and pork. Prawns and freshwater fish are readily available as well. Next, I will continue 7.0 general characteristic of the cuisine. Thai cuisine is a type of Asian cuisine that is traditionally famous for its exotic taste, taste for spice combined with sweet and sour. The most commonly used ingredients in Thai cuisine are nampla, an aromatic fish sauce, and kapi, a natural, paste made of, a natural paste made of shrimp. As far as the spices, the leaf of cafe lime provide the unique signature of the exotic dishes in Thailand. They are used in soup as well as an ingredient for curry. The curry itself is frequently combined with garlic, ginger, lemongrass and with different hot spices. Rice in Thai cuisine is like bread and potatoes in European cuisines. It neutralizes the flavor and softens the spiciness of the dishes. There are two common varieties use of rice, and the first one are khao sui, a white non-sticky rice that is the favorite of the resident of the central and south region of the country. And the next one are khao niao, a yellow and sticky rice that is preferred by Thai residents in the north and northeastern regions. Next, noodles are a staple of Thailand. Even the most inventory fans of pasta, the Italians recognize the supreme taste of this Thai product. As opposed to the familiar baked goods in the West, it is thin and thick rice noodles that find wide use in Thailand. They are the basis of the culinary masterpieces of local chefs. The exotic cuisine like to include various insects in its dishes. The most common are worm, beetles and grasshopper, which is which the local eat as a light snack. The Thai drink tea, juice, coffee, water and all other beverages in sea through plastic bag. Natural fruit juice are usually salted, which can also be an unpleasant surprise for many. This is owed to the fact that the hot and humid climate in Thailand has forced the people there to think of innovative way to get their required daily doses of vitamin C, salt, water and glucose in the quickest way possible. Next, I will continue 8.0 clear and con concise instruction. In conclusion, Thailand cuisine is one of the most popular dishes in the world. The unit of it cooking that emphasis on lightly prepared dishes with a strong aromatic component and a spicy edge bring the balance elements in their cooking. The four elements that bring balance in their cooking are sweet, sour, spicy and salty. Apart from that, Thailand is also known for having a level of complexity in their cooking method and it is important because it can produce certain or unique tastes that represent the dish itself. There are many types of Thailand cook cooking methods such as stewing, grilling, baking, stir frying, deep frying, boiling, steaming and tossing. This type of cooking really brings the unique flavor of the Thai cuisine. Other than that, different regions of the country have different ingredients and way of cooking their food. This is because they really depend on the food resources that are available at their regions. In a nutshell, Thai cuisine is a type of Asian cuisine that is traditionally famous for its exotic taste of spices, combined with sweet and sour, bitter, salty and spicy, which is above all of the others. Thai dish is in the perfect and balanced combination of these tastes. 
that's all for me and my partner. Thank you.